Welcome back to the channel. I am Racky Ryan. So recently I did a SPAC deep dive. I highlighted three SPACs that I entered, two of which are targeting companies in the fintech space and the other is targeting companies just in the pure technology space. And in that video, which is linked above in case you haven't seen it yet, I talked about SPACs that I'm going to be entering post warrant split. I also highlighted and researched something like 20 different SPACs for you guys. So I advise you to take a look after this video in case you haven't seen it. So this video today is going to discuss the SPACs that I recently bought from that watch list. There's two of them. There's also two more that I'm looking to enter and there's another SPAC that I'm going to enter after it's warrant split. So stick around because you're going to want to see the two SPACs that I entered, the two SPACs that I'm about to enter, and then the SPAC that I'm going to enter once it's warrant split. Also, if you're not necessarily aware of what a SPAC is yet, I also have a video in which I discuss that in detail. Oh, and be sure to subscribe. The majority of you are not subscribed and it is free to do so. So stick around because you're gonna to wanna to see the two SPACs that I entered, the two SPACs that I'm about to enter, and then the SPAC that I'm going to enter once it's warrants split. So if you watched my previous video, which again, I'm gonna link above so you can watch this afterwards. I went long on FPAC, which is targeting FinTech. I really liked the founding team, Thomas Farley, former president of NYCE. I really liked FinTech. So you're seeing a lot of winners in FinTech right now, such as Square, PayPal. Kathy Wood has recently been buying a lot of DraftKings. There's another stock that you may not have on your radar. It's called Adyen. I'm going to be doing a video on that next week. And also just in general, I'm very bullish about FinTech going forward. So it should be said, full disclosure, anything that's said in my videos is my opinion. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is purely for entertainment purposes only. The other SPAC that I bought that I discussed in my last video was TWCT. They're targeting tech. You can see that it's the former CEO of GoDaddy. Its first SPAC is up over 300% and it's the founding partners of KKR, which is a gigantic financial firm. So I think that that could even potentially be looking for a FinTech play as well, although they say they're targeting tech. Tech is very broad, so potentially that could be a FinTech play also. The other company that I went long on is LFTR. This management team is like an all-star team. You have the former CEO of E-Trade, the former COO of Coinbase, and the former COO of TD Ameritrade. So I recently bought the SPAC STPC, which is one of the SPACs that I said I was going to buy after its warrant split. So let's go back to my research and check out what STPC is. They're targeting sustainability, including clean energy and power. The company has a lot of good management. This is the second iteration of this SPAC team. Their first SPAC is up over 400%. It is the former CEO of Kinder Morgan, which is a gigantic energy company. And they're going to be targeting sustainability, including clean energy and power. And going forward, renewables, clean energy, sustainable energy is something that I am very bullish on. So I went ahead and I entered STPC. At the time of my research, it was trading around $12.28. Since the CCIV blow up, some of the SPACs have been coming back down to around $10 per share, which is their net asset value. Again, if you're not necessarily sure what that means, I have a video about what is a SPAC and it talks about stuff like this, but it is literally at the peak low of what this, the SPAC is going to be trading at. So I got in at $10 per share even. So I really like STPC going long and I've just entered STPC. If you remember from my previous video, I really like the SPAC HCIC. Let's take a look into what HCIC is doing. This team is a rock star team. It is comprised of the former CEO of GE, a director of Twilio, the former president of Solar City, and it also has Brad Buss involved, who was involved with Tesla and QuantumScape, and Jeff Immelt, who was involved with Solar City. So this team is a bunch of people who have been in the clean energy space, they've worked at Tesla, they have a lot of knowledge in what they're trying to work on. And what they're trying to work on is sustainable industrial tech and infrastructure. And there's, room, and there's rumors regarding sustainable rare earth company such as battery composition. As the world moves more and more towards EVs, the ingredients needed to make an electric vehicle, nickel, cobalt, lithium, etc., are going to be in much higher demand. 
So if this company can help bridge that demand, help bridge that gap, or just go ahead and find some sort of alternative source for those ingredients, then this could be a huge win. So now going forward, I am looking at two more SPACs to buy from this list. Let's take a look at them. So I mentioned that there's two SPACs that have recently split from their warrants on this list that I'm looking to enter and I'm probably going to be entering next week. The first is VTIQ right here. They're targeting smart mobility, transportation, and industrial tech. So there's rumors it could be something like an autonomous vehicle maker. And I'm going to be entering VTIQ. The next company that I'm going to be entering next week that has been on my watch list that recently had its pre-unit split is going to be CPUH. This company is comprised of the chairman of Intel, the former CEO of Medtronic, the former CEO of GE Healthcare, and the senior advisor to SoftBank. And what they are looking to get into is healthcare tech or computational AI. Those are both industries that I'm very bullish on and I want to get into. So I'm, going to, so I'm going to be adding shares of CPUH next week. And last but not least, the SPAC that I'm most excited about once it's warrant split, DCRNU, which is going to become DCRN. Let's take a look. So what DCRN is targeting is global decarbonization. Going forward, the world is going to need global decarbonization. It's hard to argue against global warming, and this company is comprised of a team that is going to be trying to tackle this. So I'll definitely be sure to let you know whenever I enter TCRN. That's the top one on my watch list. I already mentioned that I'm going to be buying VTIQ and CPUH next week. I already mentioned the two SPACs that I recently entered in STPC and HCIC. And in my last video, you saw the three different SPACs that I entered, which was FPAC, TWCT, and LFTR. So all in all, I'm trying to do my best to give you full disclosure of all of the different SPACs that I'm entering, why I'm entering them, and I'm even showing you my research. So if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe. You can even turn on that notification bell so that you can be the first to know whenever I uncover stocks for you.